Good morning guys, uh, today is day five and the time is quarter past six and I've been up since 4.30 this morning and the roosters woke me up so I even actually had earplugs in too. Feeling pretty good, a little bit stiff. Um, yesterday we did one hour of hiking uh, which was good because I had gastro all day yesterday and I'm, I even have it this morning as well so I've taken some gastro stop this morning hopefully that will get me through for the rest of the day also I've taken two Panadol which I have had to I've avoided it the whole time but I've taken two for the first time also I'm trying this it's anti-chafing cream so I'm trying this one for the first time because I don't want any more chafing or I don't want the existing chafing to get worse so um, I'm trying it, <laughs> so it actually belongs to the guide, he gave it to me yesterday. So yeah, that's an update. Now we're leaving in about 15 minutes and today's going to be a big day. We're doing about eight hours of climbing and descending. So I'm excited about it, my feet are a bit sore, my muscles are a bit sore. Uh, this morning I've had, this morning I've had uh, 50 grams of my protein powder and I've had two sachets of traditional oats, so carbs and protein together. And um, it, yeah, yesterday was fantastic. Being here in the village, spending most of the day or half the day here and having my first shower in four days, which is just incredible, with soap. The time is 4.30 p.m. day four and for the first time in four days, I'll be washing my clothes. Smells like a coda. Using the shower. So it's quite an amazing experience, everything. The ups and downs, not just the you know, ups and downs of climbing and descending the mountain, but also the ups and downs, the emotional ups and downs that follow. It's an incredible experience. Um, you know, so many times, you know, you think you've hit rock bottom, but you haven't. And then you actually hit rock bottom and you realize that you just can't hit any more rocks. And then, you know, you see the villagers and you see the kids and they're so happy. And, you know, and then you, you know, you have moments like this where it's, it's peaceful, it's calm. And, you know, at nighttime you can see all the stars. It's quite relaxing. So it's quite an incredible experience, you know. So there's great times and then there's times where... You just can't feel your feet, you can't feel your legs, you can't feel shoulders because you're carrying this thing on your back. And, you know, things are wet, underwear's wet, everything's wet. And you're in a lot of pain, you can't feel your body. So it's part of the experience. So I'm gonna pack the rest of my stuff and I'll give you another update shortly. Death metal. Fasten your seat belts are about to climb for the next how many hours? Three hours. Johnson's ready. It is day five and the time is ten past seven and we're about to depart right now. And I feel pretty good. I feel amazing actually. We're leaving the village, we're going to climb, and then we're going to camp. <laughs> 